All right, so uh, I need to do an oil and filter change on the Jetta. The last video I had done, I had put a the Trasco back on there and the element just wasn't right in there. So it was too loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a Hinks. Hinks. Um, I've used these filters for 15, 20 years. And normally I would run the uh, Amsoil Heavy Duty 1540 diesel oil, but I'm going back with the Series 3000 530 uh, diesel oil. This is a little bit thinner, obviously, viscosity than the 1540, but this oil chemistry in the additive package in here is much more robust than the 1540. 1540 is an awesome oil. I'm just going to try this and just see how it goes. All right, so I went ahead and changed the filter and drained the oil. And we're going to put, I don't know what's up with this. Let me go ahead and put the uh, AMS oil back in now. The only thing I like about these, well, it doesn't matter what it's being stored in the river. It's almost impossible to get that filter in position because there's the suffering and the coolant, uh, coolant hose, and you can really push on the, well, so that's one good day. You have to really push on the hose to get that filter to get so big. Pass. Both of those. So, but that's it. It's an excellent filter. I usually ran 35,000 miles. That was a 1540. And I've got plenty of lab tests to show opportunity to that on all the filters. Every 10,000 miles. And the oil about 35,000 miles. Last time I did time belt, and every single time the engine size after spots. It's amazing this engine is a 1.9 liter and it holds nearly six quarts of oil. I just usually put five in there to begin with and then uh, so before I start it up I'm going to go ahead and uh, do some degreasing on the engine on the on, on the underside. This car since it was new has dripped oil from the uh, PVC area bad design by Volkswagen but over time it'll drip on the valve cover run down and it just makes a mess so I'm going to go ahead and clean that up and then we'll start it up all right so the Trasco filter has been removed from the Jetta and as I said at the beginning of the video I removed it because when I installed the filter element the first time it just didn't feel right so I'm going to take the tool that Trasco has and I'm going to just loosen this here. Take out the center spring assembly. And the top mounting portion is just pressed on and it will come right out. The screen assembly and the O-ring are still intact. And as I suspected, I don't know if you can see how much play there is in there, but that is not right at all. Should not come out that easy. <clears throat> so, either this was defective or they gave me the wrong paper elements I don't know uh, but at this point I went, <clears throat> went ahead and put the Hinks filter back on there and I've used those filters for years and years and years before I ever heard about these and I just changed those every 10,000 miles I did the actual oil change every 35,000 miles 
with an oil analysis, of course. And um, I think that's just where I'm going to stand for right now until I can get this situation sorted out. But anyway, just wanted to show you guys that. That was the pretty much the whole reason. And while I went ahead and um, did the filter, I went ahead and switched the oil over to the Amsoil Signature 3000 5W30. It's plenty, plenty, plenty. In fact, it's overkill for the Jetta, even though it calls for 1540. Uh, that oil, the 530, is much more robust and it will be fine. But yes, I will do oil analysis and show the naysayers. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I will let you guys know what happens when I get another element and we'll see if it's a quality control problem or if I just had a bad element. Anyway, guys, I will catch you on the next video.